Hey guys, Stephen Cox here, and today I have a little message. I spent a whole bunch of today working on charting out songs for a show tonight. And there weren't a lot of people that showed up to the show. It wasn't a big money show or something. It was just um, important, you know? So I want to give you guys a little bit of encouragement because I know a lot of people will just kind of barely work on stuff, and they won't, they won't work very hard on things, and the reason I think you should work hard on things, even when you're not getting paid a lot, is you're investing your time. So let's say you go and you're playing a gig with somebody, and they have 20 songs they want you to learn, and let's say you're the guitar player or the bass player, right? Well, if you kind of go, oh, well, this gig's paying so little, I don't think I'm going to spend that much time on it, and you go there and you mess up the show, that person will never hire you again. And if they're out there working on finding better gigs and better shows, you may have just shot yourself in the foot, because they might have come back with like, hey, how about this wedding gig that I just got, or this other gig that pays you know, 300 500 or so forth, whereas you were playing like a $75 gig with them at first or something. So I think it's important that you treat treat it as a big gig even when it's a small gig and this is also something that um the drummer Zorro says is just kind of treat every gig as if it's the big gig because that way you're prepared when you get the big gig and sometimes opportunities will come from that if somebody um doesn't book better let's just say like somebody always books fifty dollar gigs and you do a really good job every time well, somebody else might come to them and say, hey, do you have a bass player that you could recommend for me? Or, hey, do you have a guitar player that you recommend for me? And I'll be like, oh, well, this guy always does a good job. Sometimes that's how you level up. That's how you get there. So every single gig that you do, every single song that you learn is an investment in your career. So think about it that way as you go forth. And that way it makes it a little bit easier to grit your teeth through some hard gigs. All right, guys. I'll talk to you tomorrow.